Good morning, afternoon, evening. Not sure when you're catching this, but hopefully you are. And happy Thanksgiving. Today I got lots to do. First thing I got to get up and do is take my first or youngest stepdaughter's Jeep in for some service. Actually, it's her father's, and he sent me an email saying, check for the squeak and advise. It's a 94 Jeep. The whole thing probably squeaks. Matter of fact, you could probably name it the Squeak Wrangler instead of the Jeep Wrangler. Well, we'll find out. We'll see what it is. Change transmission fluid, transfer case, and serpentine belt. We'll film some of that and put that in a, another video. I also want to get out the video today. I promise you the MR2. I will get that done. And I have some tips on a Fiat oil change and some unboxings. Cue the banjo. Well, I have some unboxings on YouTube to do. I actually filmed them a while back. And when I first saw unboxings on YouTube, it was watching my youngest stepdaughter watch unboxings on YouTube. And I thought to myself, that's crazy. That's like walking across the street, going into her neighbor's yard, looking through their window on Christmas day and watching them open their presents. And then I started watching it a little bit more and I was like, this is pretty cool. I like this. And I like getting stuff too. Well, a while back with that in mind, I bought two things. I bought a GoPro Black 10, which just came out recently, to replace my GoPro Max. Now, I don't know how much it will replace it. I do like the Max that shoots front and back, but this only shoots in HD, while the 10 shoots in up to 5K, actually, and the sound quality is pretty good. Also, I bought a Surface Studio 2 computer, and this was out of necess necessity. I was doing a lot of my editing, or my first editing when I first got onto YouTube and started editing my files, and I didn't know anything about YouTube or editing files or shooting or anything like that. I just downloaded DaVinci Resolve and just jumped into it. I took two tutorial classes, uh, Privately, the guy came over and gave me a couple classes, and then I, ever since then, I've just been kind of on my own and figuring it out. And I've tried to get a learning in every episode, basically learn something new and put it in, on far as editing goes into my videos. So when I started getting more and more advanced, and I got to episode one or two, and I tried to do things like this right here, which is a fusion, and these arrows that I was putting in the videos in the text and such, and also when I was trying to do what it's a Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve and dub over some of my critiques or edits of cars as I walked around them, and I may change that actually. When I, it's not ideal. I actually think I'm going to just start editing and doing the walkthrough real time with the cars rather than a dub over. I just just like that presentation better. But anyway, back on the subject. When I tried doing that on my laptop. I could not render the file. It just would not save. And rendering the file is basically taking all those audio and visual files and what you overlay on top of them in your editing and putting it into one file that's going to go into YouTube. And it would crash every single time. So it just could handle that much data at once. I needed some more storage. I needed some more RAM to get that done. Well, the one thing I have not an issue with, but what I've noticed about some of the box unboxings that happen is somebody does an unboxing and it's really just to get out there and get some content out. And I get that. I struggle with that too. And they open the product and it's the best thing ever. I've been waiting for this and it finally came. Let's unbox it. I'm very proud of this. And that is great. But then I've noticed down the line, there's another unboxing of another product that does the same thing that's replacing something that you may have bought six months earlier because of some of its limitations. That's fine, but I thought I would do it differently. I thought I would do the unboxing and go through what I wanted this product to do and how happy I was to have it, but then live with it for a while before I actually showed the unboxing out there on YouTube and then give kind of a critique of what I've noticed, good or bad, and what I have to live with or what I can't live with or what's sensational about the product and then go on. 
So let's get to the unboxings and how happy I was to get this stuff when I actually did get it. I've been editing and rendering my videos with this. It's done its job, yeah, barely, actually. The last straw was I tried to do a fusion, simple arrow on my last video, and it was just too much for this. So I went out and bought Microsoft Surface Studio 2. This has 32 RAM, two SSD in storage, and I think it's going to help my problems. So let's unbox it, see what we have. Nice monitor. Holy moly. Nice use monitor. Okay. Bye bye. I assume this is the keyboard. Pen, mouse. Oh, sleek. I hope that. Uh, we'll see. Still it looks nice. What is this? Cord. Instructions. And that's what the wife is for. Yes. I believe that covers it. Nice box. Beautifully presented. It's a couple days later, not because it took a couple days to set this up. We got it set up the very next day, but just because of timing, been very, very busy. And I keep on forgetting that when these computers are made, there's a time, there's a difference between the time that they were actually assembled and they were shipped and they sit in storage and all that time that's happening. It could be months. I don't know. Window updates are happening. So when you get your computer, and you try to download different apps or different applications and stuff like my editing software, you run into errors because it's not up to date. And I, I keep on forgetting that you have to go to the Windows and do all your Windows updates and do any kind of driver updates that will support what you're trying to set up on the computer. Anyway, that, that was done the next day and it's working. I, I like it a lot. I love the monitor. I'm sure I'm going to be able to split this up. The problem I was having was rendering speeds and saving and so forth and I like I said before I was trying to do a fusion and I could do the fusion on my laptop but when I tried to render it to a file it, it froze up it just could not handle it so I'm hoping this solves some of those problems it's not a gaming computer by any means it doesn't have that type of uh, RAM or anything but I think it's going to be sufficient if you're wondering uh, I hey I made this desk if you're wondering uh, I went to a glass company had this piece of glass made it's, I think, three quarters of an inch. It's beveled, actually cut some holes. They cut some holes, not me. Cut some holes back in here for all the cords to go through. Cut some holes back here for some pins to go through for the framing that I set the, set up together. And really all this is is angle iron. I just went to a steel company and we got angle iron. And I was going to chrome it. I thought that'd be so cool to chrome it. And then I got the, the price of what it would cost to chrome it. 
and it just didn't make any sense because you can imagine this piece of glass wasn't cheap by any means. And then the chrome, this angle iron was well in the 2000s, if I remember right. So then you have a desk that costs multiple thousands of dollars that can only be put here per se. That didn't make any sense. But what I, one of the things I like about this computer, I don't know how it does this, but this is glass and this mouse still works perfectly. Now my laptop mouse, it does not do that because it's glass. I don't, I don't know how this is actually doing it, but I love it that I don't have to have a mouse pad for here to operate this computer. Anyway, success. It's set up. Cool. Well, more unboxings. I got the GoPro 10 black or black 10. So I'm going to unbox this. I'm trying to work on some of my sound quality and some of the picture quality as well. This will shoot in 4K and 5K. The Max I had will only shoot in, uh, I think, HD. So we'll see how to get into this and open this. Ah. Nice case. Comes with a little case on it. I think I said that once before on some of my other computers. Charging card. Battery. Little click stand. And a that might fit a helmet really good right there. Actually, it's kind of concave. Click stand for it and the mounting screw so and the gopro itself again your camera must be updated which is no problem pretty handy got the same things as my max right here to support can't wait to use this actually and it's got a nice little case mine uh the max only had a little um i don't know what was it called carrying case little bag for it and stuff like that but this actually has now one of the things you have to watch out for and i don't know how i'm going to do this i might still do filmings with the cart with the max because this has a screen on the back the screen on the front and a big lens here. Uh, I don't know how to protect that. We'll have to see how what kind of ways you can protect that. Because if you looked at my Max, which I don't have with me right now, the screen on the Max is cracked. One time I went out in the cart and filmed with the cart, and I put this facing the screen, and the debris and all the. And you might notice when I'm riding on my cart, you'll see all this debris picking up, and you also see a piece of tire flying off the um, cart as well and something hit the screen on the Max and cracked it. Still works fine, I can still see, but you see the cracks and I don't really wanna crack this one. So, not bad. We'll get it used, used and we'll get it updated and we'll see how it does. All right, now let's do kind of a review of the products after I've lived with them for a bit. First, the GoPro. This has been pretty good quite honestly. It shoots an amazing picture, quite honestly. Photos, 5K, 4K, it has really done what's advertised. There has been some critique of it that I have criticism of it. it you can press, and I think you can do this on all GoPros, the record button up here very quickly and to capture something instantly. Like, oh, I, I want to catch that quick. It's gonna, I'm gonna miss the moment, hit the record button, and within a couple seconds, it's recording. That's worked 95% of the time, maybe a little bit more, 99% of the time. There are other times where I've hit the record button, recorded the instance, and I really wanted to get the content in there, and it's missed the file. When I've gone back and looked, and the moment's gone. There's no recapturing the moment, and it's gone. And it's not captured on the data file. That's happened quite a few times. Not quite, it's happened a handful of times, and I'm kind of bummed about that. The other item that you'd have on this is, 
Well, and also the sound quality of this is pretty good. And you can get a mic to get to attach this. I didn't realize that until recently. But the ambient sound coming from, captured on this when you're close by is pretty good. Now, if it's a person or object away, it, it, it's not so much, but that's not what this is designed to do. It's picked up the ambient sound, sound and it does, the sound quality is really, really good. The mic is right here, okay? I don't know if that's focusing, but yeah, there we go. That's the mic. One of the issues I have, and this is kind of a user error, is I'll grab this real quick and start filming, and I will mistakenly put my thumb over top of this mic to hold it rather than have like a handle or a gimbal or something like that. And all I get in return is Charlie Brown's teacher. <laughs> and then it's, I'm screwed. Uh, the speakers are on this or underneath here. But overall, this has been a great addition. This, I've got mixed, quite honestly. One thing, it's already broken. The file receiver back here where you put your SD cards is already broken. It started to malfunction and I thought it was just getting hot. And I think that's it. I think the problem is that it gets hot, but it gets hot fast. And then rendering files or transferring files from my camera's SD card when I take it out or the GoPros and putting it back there is useless. I literally have to right now put the SD card in my laptop and transfer it over to a file holder and then transfer it back to my computer that I'm not happy with with the computer that I paid five grand for and it's already pseudo broken other than that it's handled things okay uh, above average uh, almost to expectations but if I do a fair light on this computer and I'm trying to dub something over if I dub over quickly say I, I'm previewing a car and it's running through the file. The file will be up here running and I click record and I record on a mic. It will record it, but say I don't like it. And I say, nope, cancel that. I'm going back to the start and I'm going to do it again. What happens is if I do that too many times and I do that too quickly, it freezes. And DaVinci Resolve freezes and I lose the file. DaVinci Resolve is supposed to save up to real time. And I lose that file. So what I've been doing is cautiously running through all my dubs very slowly. And then I have been saving each dub every time I do it. That's my critique of this. Other than that, this has worked just fine. And I only use it for editing. And sometimes I'll break away and look at the internet. There is nothing else I do on this computer. Everything else, my office job and the, computer, the shop, everything's run through a laptop separately. So there's no mixing I, if I, one computer goes down i'm not screwed all the way over so that's the only thing i do in this uh i'm not eh, i don't know i don't know what to give this maybe a b b minus especially since it's in my mind already broken and I, i'm i don't know i guess i'll have to take it in but then i'm out with, without a computer for a while to do my editing and i like to get my edits out every week that's my struggle with this and that's kind of review of the unboxings and the things i have thanks